Hi, now I am going to give you a demo for a new product. It's a very interesting and fantastic useful product. What's the name of this product? Screen Mirroring S8 Pro device. What's the use of this device? It's used for what? You can show small screen on your phone to big screen on your TV. This device support iPhone, iPad version 8.0 and above. For Android phone and Android tablet, Android version, Android OS from 5.0 onwards you can use. If you look at this device, there are three interfaces on this side and other side also three different interfaces. Okay. The first one, the micro USB is to power up the device. The next one, the USB data is written here. This one to connect to your phone or tablet using the micro USB cable or type C cable or you can use lightning cable. Then the other side is the audio cable. If you want to connect to the audio this one is the audio in. Audio in is to connect from your phone to this device. If some Android phone doesn't support audio from your USB port, then you can use this audio in cable, aux cable. But it's option, optional, not necessary. The other side is the HDMI cable. You can insert here to your TV and VGA cable to your projector. And this is the AUX audio jack to connect to your speaker. You can use Bluetooth also. You look at the device here. It has micro USB port device to power up this device. You use the micro USB cable and insert the micro USB into this micro USB power port. The other end, you just, you can use your TV USB port or better, you use power adapter, 5 volt and 2 ampere power adapter. After that, you connect the HDMI cable to the TV. From here, the HDMI port. Use the HDMI cable The other side you can connect to the TV or monitor or projector This device has HDMI port as well as VGA port You can use either HDMI or VGA you can connect to monitor or projector or to the TV using the VGA port also. In which HDMI port you have connected the source, then you choose the HDMI port 1 or 2 or 3. To which port you have connected, you choose using your TV remote. Then TV, when this device is connected to the TV, it will show you exactly the same screen. This is the startup menu screen. Okay. Then you can use your iPhone or iPad or Android phone or Android tablet. First, we can see how to connect the iPhone or iPad. iPhone and iPad, the usage is same. This is the iPhone lightning cable. You just insert this USB port into the USB port. The other side, you connect to the iPhone or iPad. Just insert into your either iPhone or iPad. Then your phone will ask you, do you want to trust this device? You want to trust this computer? You just choose trust. Then your phone, iPhone or iPad immediately will appear on your TV after a few seconds. Just only one time you need to choose this trust. Next time, no need to choose. It will, it will appear automatically. Now you look at the TV screen. My iPad is appearing there, right? 
If you rotate the iPad, it will rotate on your TV screen also. Okay, now I play a whatever you play on your iPad or iPhone. You can use to project photo, video, songs, or you can use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, documents, play games, everything can. What, what you see on small screen can show on your big TV. Okay, now I open a movie from my iPad. Now you see what's playing on my iPad is appearing on the TV. Crystal clear. The sound also will go to the TV. You can use this device to project your tablet, iPhone or iPad or Android phone or Android tablet to your TV or monitor or projector. We can see the demo how to use with the Android phone or Android tablet. What you do for Android phone or Android tablet, you can use either Type-C cable, USB Type-C cable or micro USB cable. Okay, now I am using the Android phone using the Type-C cable. What you do, the Type-C cable, the USB you insert into the USB port here. The other side, first what you do, you just download and install for Android users the easiest way to use, first you go to the Google Play Store and download EZCast, EZCast application. You can scan this QR code to download from Google Play Store. First, download and install EZCast application. This is the app called EZCast. Just launch this app, then you insert, you will get into this main screen. What you do, just you insert your type C cable or micro USB cable into your phone or tablet. Okay, after you insert the type C cable or micro USB cable into your Android device, you look at the device here the wire arrow icon just tap on this icon then this screen will pop up there are two methods available to use with the android phone one is mirroring the phone using the usb debugging method another method is using the usb tethering okay first we can discuss USB debugging. You see here there are two options here. The first option is turn on USB debugging mode to mirror. You just click on this connect button. Then immediately this screen will pop up. Okay. What you do, you must go to, it will take you to the developer option. You click on this OK button. Then you see on your phone, the developer option have a menu called USB debugging. Just slide the switch to 
use the USB debugging. Now the USB debugging is turned on, enabled. In your phone, if USB debugging is not appearing, what you do? You go to the settings of your phone. Under the settings, you go to above. Then under the above, you can see the build version. You just tap seven times. Then the developer option will be enabled. Okay. Now the developer option enabled. Now you can look at my phone is appearing on the TV. Whatever you play on your phone, it will appear on the TV. Some Android phones don't support audio, especially when you are using the USB debugging mode to mirror or when you are using the USB tethering mode to mirror under screen mirroring. Some phones, Android phones, won't support audio. In that case, you use the audio auxing cable, just connect to this audio jack on your phone, the other end to the device, the audio in. Okay, now you see here, I play the video. Okay, now you see the sound comes only from the phone, not on the TV. Okay. Now, when you use this audio auxin cable, the sound will go from your phone to TV. For some Android phone, if the audio doesn't support, then use the audio cable to connect to the device. Then your sound from the phone, it will go to the TV. Now we are going to see the demo. How to use the mode called USB tethering mode? Just open the EZ cache application, then you insert your Type C cable or micro USB cable. For Android, there are two methods available to mirror your phone. One method is called USB debugging mode to mirror. Second method is called USB tethering mode to mirror. Under USB tethering, there are two options available. One is just mirror your phone to the TV. You see here, EZCast is asking to use your screen. If you choose start, your phone as it is on your phone will appear on the TV. Whatever you do on your small screen will appear on your big TV. This is one method. The second method is called pushing the content. Okay, what's the use of this pushing the content to the TV? How do you enable it? You go to the EZCast and look at this icon here. This icon will show you the mirror. Now the mirror option, screen mirroring option is enabled. If you touch here, mirroring option is, screen mirroring option is disabled, but now it's under pushing mode. Pushing mode means whatever you play photo or video or you play, you go to the website and whatever you do there will appear, it will push to the TV. If you play a video, you have say 10 songs, video songs. You want to play, you just play using this EZCast application, then it will automatically continuous play. And you can do some other work with your phone. That's called pushing. Pushing means you automatically the selected data. It means the photo or video will appear on TV, it will play on TV. And at the same time, you can use your phone for some other purpose. That's the advantage of using this device. And the video will appear crystal clear. Okay. Now I go to the video here. Okay, I open one of the video here. Okay, now it's Moving on to Marcel Motashiwa. Get a Shiva is back in action. It's a Marcel local song. <laughs> when you are using the okay. Video is 
playing on the TV, but I can use the phone. Now the video is playing from my phone to the TV, but I can use for some other purpose. I can use email. I can use some other apps here. I want to check my message here. I can check. I can use the phone for any purpose. Okay. <laughs> That's called pushing. Pushing means you can push the video or any media files from your phone to TV, and you can watch TV, and at the same time you can do some other work on your phone. That's the advantage of using the pushing method. <laughs> support audio out in that case what you do in your phone if you have the 3.5 audio aux in jack you can use the audio cable if you don't have no worries even you can use bluetooth speaker just what you do you turn on your bluetooth speaker and pair with your phone after that you play the movie from your phone now i play the movie from the phone the sound will go to the bluetooth speaker not to the tv Thanks for watching our demo.